Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're having a good morning. Luna and I did not, did not get to take our duck walk this morning. But I do have some coffee. And it's a nice cool day. It's 68 degrees here. So I'm going to sip my coffee and warm up a little bit. Ooh, it's almost too hot. I have to sip it off the top. Mm. We were ready to go. She was ready for me to take her out. And we got outside and the raindrops started falling. They're really light. So we probably actually could have taken a walk. But she doesn't like it when her, the rain hits her ears. So we opted to stay home. She was not too crazy about the idea. So we'll stay home and we'll throw a, a ball around a little bit. So you can take the short little things. Okay, so I actually had a plan yesterday to uh, talk about something else, and I want to talk about that at the end, but the main thing I wanted to talk about, the thing that's on the title, is I got permission to be on Leonard I.O. Leonardo, sorry, <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> Leonardo. IO. Leonardo IO is a uh, like Mid Journey and many of the other uh, visual uh, image rendering platforms. I saw some demonstrations of its capabilities and I was extremely impressed. So, I plan on using it. I don't like their, um, their model uh, for buying stuff. So, <clears throat> if you sign up, the free free part is you get uh, 150 tokens a day. And if you pay $10 a month, you get large lumps tokens and you get them monthly. Here's the thing that <laughs> bothers me a little bit. <coughs> if you pay and you get the tokens, and then you use the tokens. You have to wait till the next month to get more tokens. The daily one is you get 150 every day, right? So it kind of spaces you out and uh, doesn't use up your stuff. Um, however, <laughs> I, I kind of like something that keeps me from using up everything too quickly. Because I and I have saw seen saw, have seen on uh, their uh, Discord support stuff one person saying, you know, I I I ran out of tokens and I still got a week left before I get more tokens. It would be nice if I got the free tokens for a little bit while I'm waiting to get my next one. So. Don't know about that. Oh, wow. That was a good catch, little girl. Yes, that was a good catch. Your head is wet. Yes, because it's raining down there. Anyways, Leonardo IO. The images are much more sharp and pronounced and a little bit better than what, uh, what I've been using, which was... Uh, 
Ding AI. Also with Leonardo IO, you can do custom uh, updates with support from the AI. I'll give you an example. Let's say you uh, had it render a house in the country, but over in one area, there's a, a cow that looks really bad. And so you want, you really like the picture, but the cow just kind of ruins it. Well, on Bing AI, you would re-render the entire thing. So now when you re-render, you don't get the original picture. So you may have liked the original picture. It's got, and when it re-renders, it's gonna be gone. And the cow will be fixed, but the, the one the image you liked is is not there. Well with Leonardo, you can say this area right here where the cow's at, re-render it. Leave everything else alone. And when you do that, the uh it allows you not only to re-render it, but it gives you selections. So you can um, go through like four different uh, possible replacements for that area, which is really, really nice. I really, really like it. One of the other things that it does is you can take two images, and separate them and then with the blank area between them and then you can say render stuff to connect these two images and it will render um, stuff that looks like it would pull those two images together so it um, has a lot of capabilities. And you can extend things too. So if you hide the image of the uh, house in the country and you just want to make, make it bigger, you want that same image, but you want to put things off to the side. You can do the same thing as like when you re-render the cow, you can have it re-render areas and then act, yes, flip it, different versions. Do you like something and continue on? So I'm very excited to try it out. Got a lot more capability to it. Oh, and it has um, something that Bing doesn't have also, which is called negative prompts. So let's say I wanted to let's go back to the cabin um, or the farm. I can't remember what it was. Was a cabin or farmhouse? Let's say farmhouse. So I, the farmhouse and it's beautiful and I love it. But when I render it, I say, you know, I'm not looking for something that's got people in it. I'm not interested. In it. So you can say in the negative prompts, no humans. I don't want any humans. I have to play with that. I don't know if I want negative prompts is no humans or just humans. And then it will not render what you use in the negative prompts. That way you can constrain, or like that farm animal saying, I, I, want, I want the uh, farmhouse, but I don't want to see any farm animals in the image. So you can actually say that to it. So there you go. You get a negative prompt, which is uh, more of a remove things. So you don't have to put that in the text. And I'm looking forward to trying it out. It might be a lot of fun with it. We'll check, we will check it out. So I kind of want to pay for stuff. And here's the reason why is I feel like I'm enjoying this and I'm really having fun doing it 
And if if I enjoy something, I I love being able to uh, reciprocate that I uh, appreciate what you've done for me. Something that um, will reinforce the positive uh, efforts out there. I mean, that's part of why we created money was to make it so that I can use that money to say, hey, thank you. Hey, more. Hey, that was something that benefited me. So, yes. She may not have gotten a walk, but she is at least getting some good throws in. <laughs> All right. So that was my primary thing that was to talk about Leonardo AI. And I probably will talk more about Leonardo AI. Or IO. Leonardo. Leonardo IO. Uh, with, but um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was my daughter's birthday. So my daughter had a birthday and I had chat GPT write her a, a uh, poem about her uh, being a teacher in, in Texas. And it was a really nice poem. It was really good. Um, maybe I'll put it in the show notes below. Uh, and then <laughs> put a couple of images from Bing AI, and it's like the, my daughter's like, oh, at first it's like, oh, that's pretty, pretty. Oh man, the the her body is missing. The head is there, and the, her arms are weird, and so <laughs> they're a little creepy. The pictures are a little creepy, and I sent her the. Uh, uh, Leonardo IO picture, which because I hadn't gotten Leonardo IO until a little bit later, and uh, yeah, yeah, Leonardo, Leonardo IO did a better job of rendering, but it still had some stuff missing, and uh, but it was a better picture, yes. Right, Luna. So, I uh, I got to share an AI birthday with my my little daughter. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I think Luna and I will probably stay out here for a little bit longer because she seems to be enjoying my uh, attention and. Uh, we may not be able to get out a walk, but we are certainly able to throw a ball and get back in without too much disturbance. She doesn't mind getting out in the rain. She's a, she sees a squirrel, so she's making sure the squirrel. Uh, she doesn't mind getting out in the rain, but she does worry that this is the beginning of something worse. So she likes to stay close to the house. And so, yeah, right now it's, it's just drizzling a little bit and she's a little wet, but she doesn't mind that. But what she doesn't like is if she uh, is out on a walk and it starts to we hear some thunder, then she's going to freak out. She's actually a really good thunder puppy dog. It makes her nervous and she shakes a little bit. But she doesn't really freak out like some of my dogs have in the past. So um, actually, as far as thunder is concerned, she is uh, doesn't ignore it, but 
it doesn't like drive her crazy like some dogs. So, but, all right. So I'm going to pay, pay attention to her. And you guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll talk to you soon.